Chief X with the Common Sense Science. Today we're talking about Dr. Layla Africa, who I tell people all the time spews a lot of misinformation and miseducates the conscious, what we so the so called conscious community. Um, a lot of people are not conscious like they think. Um, it's a cute phrase of speech to them. <laughs> um, but we're talking about Dr. Layla Africa. We're exposing a lot of misinformation and lies. And I've been doing these videos narrating because if I don't, people don't get it. So I have to actually show them talking point by point and clear up the, care, the, the misinformation. If you listen to him on your own, it's going to go over your head and you just think he's talking right. These are people who are held in high esteem in the so-called conscious community. The so-called conscious community is supposed to be a step above what's considered not the conscious community or just your average, traditional, everyday Joe Blow. But it seems like the every, average, everyday Joe Blow is into science and knows a little better. The average, average, everyday Joe Blow doesn't fall for unscientific things like the conscious community does. But let's just go ahead and let's just start it off. And he just starts off lying. These guys are liars. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I got to be raw and real right now. Shoot now and ask questions later. And today uh, we have a very special guest, a brother I've known for probably 40 years. Yeah, at least. At yeah. least. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to tell you a little bit about him. His name is Brother Leala Africa. Um, do, you, do you pronounce that Africa? Or? It's La Ila Africa. La Ila Africa. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Been in the health profession for over 40 years. Okay, I'll go with that. Health profession, okay. Uh, his background includes working as a social worker, psychotherapist. Whoa! And he didn't even stop the man and let him know he's not a psychotherapist. Whoa! This is that Dr. Umar charlatan stuff. Like, Dr. Umar is a PhD because he completed his educational requirements, but he's not a psychologist because he never got his license to practice psychology. He just agreed with and didn't stop the man. The man said, you're a psychotherapist? I'm sure Layla Africa told him to say that or wrote down his qualifications. He's just reading them. A psychotherapist is someone with a PhD, like a psycholo psychologist... Or a psychiatrist. It's a difference. Psychiatrists are MDs, medical doctors, and they prescribe medicine. Psychologists don't prescribe medicine, and they're not MDs, but they are, P they are a PhD. Psychologist, PhD. Psychiatrist, MD. He is neither one. He doesn't even have a bachelor's degree. Group facilitator, community organizer, a nurse, you are a nurse? I'm a military, yeah. Uh -huh. Whoa! Another lie. In the military, they call a corpsman. A corpsman is an enlisted guy who doesn't have a bachelor's degree. If you have a bachelor's degree and you go into the military, you're considered an officer. So to be a nurse, like he lied and said, you have to have a bachelor's degree, a BSN. And then you can become a nurse in the military and you will be an officer, not a regular enlisted man. Lies. Two lies off the rip. Uh, okay. And a natural path. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Africa has uh, a doctorate 
and naturopathic uh, medicine and now you can say somebody has a doctor in naturopathic medicine but just for the general public because the general public is not that intelligent he's not a doctor in the sense of a real doctor he doesn't have a bachelor's degree but they like to take these titles and feel like they're just better than and that they're just all educated. These are all false titles. He is certified. He is a certified addictionologist. And yeah, uh, he's a certified acupuncture and a massage therapist and a licensed traditional healer. In Ghana, Togo, and the name Welcome, brother. Thank you for inviting me, brother Clemson Brown. <laughs> Appreciate it. Now, mind you, the interviewer is kind of slow himself. He doesn't have a lot of information and knowledge. Um, both these guys are slow. That's why I'm I'm like ashamed for these people. People prop up to be like uh, um, so called popular people or people of importance uh, in the conscious community who's supposed to have a wealth of knowledge, these fake ass health gurus who lied to you about health and got a lot of misinformation. It's, and it's really elementary shit. It's just shit. And I'm ashamed that the people look up to these people and will actually consider giving them lifetime achievements awards like they're just really special. And like they've just really been kicking some knowledge. They're quacks. Now, for some reason, we always talk about melanin, and for some reason, I'm always, I got maybe 10, 20,000 tapes here, mm -hmm. and I'm always misplacing them, yeah. and I, I would like to be up to date anyway, so okay. let's start out talking about melanin. Why? He knows nothing about melanin. Everything, everything he says about melanin is Totally wrong. It's melanin. What is melanin? And why is it so important to the human family and in particular to black people as we move forward to um, liberate ourselves in the 20th century? Melanin does not give you superpowers at all. Melanin is a chemical, a biochemical, meaning it's a living thing. Mm -hmm. And it's wrong. It's how we classify the races by how much melanin they make inside their body, not the melanin on your skin. Who classifies races like that? That's a lie and horrible, horrible information. Are you kidding me? What you make inside your body. And we make the most melanin. Melanin is in your muscles, it's in your bones, it's in your nervous system, and your digestive system. And in every, inside people's body, melanin doesn't differ with races. Everyone has melanin inside, the name of the thing. Not just black people. Why doesn't he say that? It's the brain cell of cells in your body. It's the brain of all the cells in your body. Lies. And it keeps it's not. It's not. Melanin is a dark skin pigmentation. It's your melanocytes, which are cells that give it that dark pigmentation. Oh my God. It's all synchronized. It's like synchronizing the watch or something. It keeps everything coordinated, the kidneys, the lungs, the liver, everything has a cycle. And melanin keeps those cycles in order. Wrong! The more melanin you have, the more intelligent you are. Wrong! The more melanin you have, the more psychic you are. Wrong! The more you have, the more human you are. Wrong! How we clap. How are you, uh, the, how can you be more human? Either you're human or you're not human. What the fuck do you guys prop up these guys for? It's embarrassing! classify human beings by how much melanin they have. Mm -hmm. And black people are classified the highest on the scale of human beings. We are number six and the Europeans are number one. They have the least amount. 
we have the most amount. So that makes us more in tune with nature, in tune with God, if you were. And Sounds good, but total bullshit. Total bullshit. It's very important. So the, the way a drug works is by destroying melanin, speeding it up, or slowing it down. A drug that does not work on melanin is not a drug at all. What drugs work on melanin? What is he talking about? List these things. Where's these sources? People will believe this honk crap. That's the way drugs are made. And nonetheless, um, because of the melanin, that makes black people rather unique. We're more creative. Everyone has melanin. Some just less in the skin. Melanin all through Thailand, Philippines. Everybody got melanin. You're not that special because you're you have a little more darker melanin on your skin. We're more scientific. We're more human. And uh, how can you be more human? Either you're human or you're not. Does that mean Prince is less human? Then, uh, um, me or, or, or any other dark person, it doesn't even make sense what he's talking about. Drugs destroy, basically. You know, be the drug crack cocaine or oil drugs called nicotine or cannabinol marijuana. Those are drugs. We just don't. And he lumps in marijuana with crack cocaine and heroin. I mean... If you, uh, let me just keep going. I don't know where drugs are because we've been miseducated, as Carter G. Woodson said. It. Yeah, yeah, you're miseducating us. You shouldn't even have a mic in your face. Totally miseducated in science, biology, chemistry, social science, history. We are miseducated. That's very unfortunate. He's not into biology, biology, chemistry, and none of that shit. He's anti-science. So we don't really know that much about ourselves or the world. So to study melanin... Speak for yourself. Study yourself and the world and how it works defines everything. If a, if a planet moves, a melanin crystal moves at the same time. Oh, shit! Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Either... You on a seriously low intellectual level, or you got mental health issues, people. You know, they mis define this to study melanin, to study the world. Can you get a little more specific? Essentially, your body is reflected in everything you do. The wheel comes from your body. All instruments come from your body, aside from the camera coming from your eyes, and speakers coming from your ears, and nuclear reactors coming from your liver. If you want a machine, you got to look at the human body. It is scientifically put together. You want to build a boat, look at how they put the ribs together, and then you can build a boat. Oh, my God. Everything comes from the human body. Everything. No machine on the planet Earth is not made from the human body. It just, it's just, just this now it's psychobabble. It's just psychobabble. But we just don't see the human body when we look at a house or a church. Because when you sit in the church, and the center is called the naves. Where you get the word navy from, where you get the word navel from. The church is built like the human body. If you don't understand yourself, you don't understand nature. We were in tune with nature, so a tree grows from the roots. It grows from the roots and it grows up, so we right from the bottom up. Makes sense to black people. Sun rises in the east, so we go from the right star from the right. And what do people mean by we were in tune with nature? As if everybody else on the planet was out of tune with, with nature. Go to the west. You follow what I'm saying? The sun sets. Yes. So we write that way. That's why we go left to right. That's why we're starting the page from the bottom up. We say, hey, that's the way the body grows. That's the way I'm going to write. Just made sense to us. When it comes to melanin and the hair, the hair as an antenna, um, where I'm trying to go with this is that uh, melanin enables us to pick up 
frequencies on so many different levels like you have bullshit bullshit I'll pay somebody a hundred bucks if they prove that um, AM channel you got an FM channel but you can pick up um, frequencies on an FM that you can't pick up on an AM so looking at nature and how animals are able to uh, sense the hurricane is coming and they disappear and right after the hurricane they all come back out uh, and you wonder where they went but we have when have niggas ever been able to, to predict the damn hurricane unless you got a satellite in the sky that NASA put there to track hurricanes niggas didn't got flooded out and died didn't know shit was coming they had to be warned of an uh, incoming hurricane and be told to evacuate. Stop playing. A very similar ability. So I wanted you to talk about that. Uh, you, you're talking about how we're synchronized with nature, yeah. essentially. And uh, it's just that we have lost a lot of those abilities. And that's probably what people don't get. Niggas, that's all niggas' excuse. Niggas, always excuse. We've lost those capabilities. Your human body don't just lose capabilities. It's your human body does the same thing that it did ten thousand years ago. It even better. You know capabilities. Because when you move from the country to the city, you're gonna lose the ability to understand at least three thousand sounds. Somebody from the country, you say that's the sound of a deer, that's the sound of a raccoon, that's the sound of a leaf when the water strikes. That's the sound. They have more sound intelligence. More. That don't make no goddamn sense. Color intelligence. So somebody from the country would put purple with yellow. You say they dress like they're from the country because they saw flowers growing like that. Uh, you see. So we were more in tune with that, but we lost our color intelligence, smell intelligence, touch intelligence when we moved in the city. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. we were just brought in because we were processing. Well, maybe we picked up some other intelligence because we moved. We didn't just move to a city. <laughs> First of all, we didn't just move to a city. <laughs> Lands and things were developed and built. You know what I mean? We start, people start making roads. Every country, every land, they start making roads. They cut down trees. They make freeways. They, every fucking country, every land does that. What is he talking about? As a bird products. I mean, that's all we were trained to do, process products, whether it was in the coal mines or whether it was with automobile companies. That's all. So the other skills they didn't need, so they didn't need that stuff. But so we lost our attunement, our relationship mm -hmm. of everything. Every disease has a smell. That's just simple. Mm -hmm. Every every disease has a smell. Oh my God. Uh, okay. People with diabetes, their urine is going to smell sweet. They have a smell. Every disease has a smell. Cancer has a smell. This is Can humans smell it? Were they ever able to smell cancer? Now, I know about dogs, but I've never known no human to have that kind of smell. Why does it just make up these stories? Who told him that? Where did he get it from? I'll pay you a hundred bucks if you show me. I guarantee you can't. It's a bold lie and in wild imagination. This is what you were in tune with before we got away from nature. We said, oh, that smells like a rat. That smells like a bird. We knew the smells of animals, but we lost our smell intelligence when we moved in the city. So you can smell and know the difference if it's a lion or a leopard. You know how to smell... See how, when you really think about what he's saying and really listen, it's psychobabble. Just like the rest of these cats, Phil Valentine, Delbert Blair, all these cats, um, Dr. Savvy, they're all wrong. Because you can tell where, where I heard of a, what you call deer nesting, because they nest in the woods, but you can smell them. See, I'm getting close to some deer, but if you step on one of them, all of them come at you. So we had all these intelligence. I'm saying this is not a foreign thing. It's just that we've been trained to process products, cotton. Who's we? 
Is he talking about black folk? Is he talking about Native American? He's talking about black folk. But I'm just saying, <laughs> there's other people who are indigenous to other lands. Why is he just acting like we're just some superheroes? It's false information. The sugar cane, cars, tires, coal, we just process the products. So we, uh, I'm going to say, you don't need that intelligence. You only need intelligence I want you to have. Mm-hmm. And they call it the catechism where they season us to just do our tasks. Like they did, they brought us from Africa. They didn't bring us, actually. We fought all the way. They were wars fought all the way. When the white man stepped on the planet, we started fighting him. That's on the paler stone. I mean, we were fighting them all along. We had an illusion that we just started. No. We were fighting them ever since we met them. That's what they do. But we lost all of those different intelligence because it wasn't needed because we were just producers of things. They said, don't teach them. No, you don't need that. <laughs> you don't need that. Somebody's trying to teach you acupuncture, get a doll and stick pins in it. They said, don't do that. That's voodoo. But they were teaching you acupuncture with the doll sticking in the pins in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> that's voodoo. So every horrible correlation, that's not true. The thing we, we had became negative. So we said, oh, don't do that. But that was part of... We never was into acupuncture. I don't know what, what kind of correlation. He he was trying hard, <laughs> but Africans never did acupuncture. Well, intelligence. Children know how to do it. It's not a big thing. But we lost all that. We can't even smell a daffodil from a rose. Now that our nose is right on it. Mm-hmm. But you can smell cotton way away from it. I mean, you can smell these plants. But when you're close to nature, you know, the smell of cotton, the smell of corn, it wasn't foreign to us. And right now, it seems like uh, smell intelligence? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you can smell a rose, you can smell cotton. Mm-hmm. But it seems like it's foreign. So you can smell people. The East Indians smell different from the Arabs. The Arabs smell different from the Europeans. We just pick up on it when white people's hair get wet. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying... Here we go. <laughs> that old dumb shit. And white people's hair get wet, it smell like dogs. Because that's just some, some stupid shit. I'm embarrassed for anyone to even say that. What about Asian people when their hair get wet? What about Samoan people when their hair get wet? Only people's hair smell like dog when it gets wet is white people. It's just psychobab. I don't know. Be just it's be it. Each race has its own smell. Mm-hmm. And because melanin has a sweet smell, we have a sweeter smell than other races. Lie. We just don't smell it because it's our, our feet. Our Made up lie. We can stink, but we can't smell it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, I can do this with anybody. I can, I, 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 I can go through a whole Dr. Sebi lecture and expose and debunk everything he's talking about. And I'm saying we have our own smell because of the melanin. Mm-hmm. But we don't... We lost our smell intelligence. This is an ad for a project management tool called Monday.com. This is what it looks like, and this is what it feels like. It's very sad. Wow. Mm-hmm. You said something. You said that uh, uh, black people are Africans fall from the very beginning. Oh, yes. That's true. We did resist. Okay. But most people think that we were enslaved because we sold out nah. slaves. Nah. How, do you, how do you answer nah. that? Nah. I don't. I don't. He's he not a historian. He better leave that one alone, but he'll try. Answer stupidity too well. I'm just saying we've been miseducated. That's all you have to know. Carter Dieter Woods said we're miseducated, not only in history. Just basic. Oh, we just been. He's not a historian. It's not his lane. We have been miseducated. I'm not saying we haven't. A lot of people have been miseducated. He's continuing to miseducate us on a daily basis. That's why these people need to get the fuck out of here. Remove them from the conscious community. Stop listening to them. Tell everybody they're quacks. Chemistry, biology, acupuncture, totally. So don't think he was just talking about history. That's why he said it took him 20 years to get over his high school education. So I'm just saying, don't think that you read something in the book. If you read it written by somebody white, that's a miseducation. Totally. That's all you have to know. 
Mm-hmm. Totally. He just basically said anything any white person write, anything he's saying is total miseducation. That's that fear mongering and that's that dumb shit. It's, it, just, it just sounds stupid. Everyone know goddamn well they learned from a white person before. They've learned from a Mexican person before. Everybody tells the truth. Everybody lies. And you lie more than most white folk. Fully miseducated. No, we fought them. When we first saw them, a lot of African people started crying. Because white people's skin is pink, and our skin is only pink when they get scraped. Mm-hmm. You see the pink underneath there, so a whole group of black, black people started crying when they saw white people say, what did they do? So Stop lying. Where do you make up these stories from? Wrong that God didn't give them any skin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What did they do that God didn't give them skin? Mm-hmm. So it was, it was a whole other thing, because we confuse Europeans with Greeks. The Greeks are not the same as Europeans. That's true. Greeks are Europeans. <laughs> She's like, I mean, you can say the Spanish aren't the same as the Germans. I mean, this is just... <sighs> so the Greeks built a wall to keep the Europeans out. So we study Greek history trying to understand white people. So with education, you got to study Greek history to understand Greeks and white history to understand cave people. They came from the caves. So we don't know cave civilization, cave rituals. They brick up the walls in England. You can't even go in the caves in Nottingham. They bricked up. You go in there, they'll lock you up. They're lying. So we have no access to the, the history. Right. But they go to our graveyards and Chinese old women. Caves is all... Matter of fact, listen, let me... Because I spoke on this book. Caves are all over Africa. Africans utilize caves and still do today. I love caves. It's a form of shelter. All races in all countries where there's caves that they were utilized. Egypt, you know what I'm saying. They are there, isn't it? They study us to market to us, to control us. Mm-hmm. But we don't study them, so how can you fight an enemy if you're blindfold? Right, and you don't know the enemy and how the enemy... Uh, methodically does things. Yeah, because we give them too much credit. They are not methodical. They are not that intelligent. They are not mm-hmm. whatsoever. We give them too much credit. If they got something, they stole it. Mm-hmm. Ice cream, they stole. Shoe making machine. Bags, they stole. Mailboxes, they stole. Delivery system, they stole. If they got something, they stole it. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. I often say that they are a product of the environment. Uh, in the ice, you know, the cold, uh, an environment that's austere, that's um, uh, stingy, that's... Uh, I mean, they're white. Eskimos are not like that. Well, that's true. Eskimos are colored people. Mm-hmm. They got melanin. They're not like that, no. Uh-uh. You can't blame that one on the environment. Okay, I, I always saw it. Eskimos are, are, is because of their diet is why they able to maintain uh, uh, melanin even in a cold environment. Um, um, they have a, a very, very, very rich vitamin D diet. As, a, as an environmental that they became no. a product of their environment. No, no. Eskimos are not like that, I'm telling you. <laughs> They're loving people, they share, and they're not, no. no. Well, how do, how do you account for their uh, character and, and, and their social economic destruction of everything? Well, first of all, we have to understand that they don't know that much about the human body. Everything they have is a belief. The theory of evolution is a belief. A theory is a belief. Oh my God! He just said a theory is a belief. What he means is a scientific theory. Okay, a scientific theory is not a belief. This guy is scientifically illiterate, and he's dumbing you down. A scientific theory, just in short. 
is a compilation of facts and evidence. That's what a scientific theory is. A compilation of facts, a bunch of facts, and a bunch of evidence that was tested and proven to be true. They call it a theory. He's talking about a hypothesis, which is kind of like, just to keep it basic, an educated guess. But a scientific theory is a compilation of facts and evidence. He don't know that because he's anti-science. Mm-hmm. The theory of evolution. They're clear. They're writing their books. This is my belief. Mm-hmm. They have a belief about the brain that he, he's not. He doesn't. He doesn't believe in evolution either. He's a creationist. He believes a single entity, male creator, God, made us and snapped his finger and we popped up out of thin air. He's a creationist. He's a lightweight religious person. But now he's not really religious. But he leans to religious ideology because he's so anti-science. Oedipus King, Oedipus Complex. That's a story, that's a belief. They focus on the belief science and belief history. Mm -hmm. So we gotta get past that belief. They have an emotional problem and we think it's intellectual. How do I give them enough knowledge so they'll change their behavior? No, that's not gonna change their behavior. They have an emotional problem, you know? Anything this cat even know about melanin. He got it twisted from white folk and black folk. Play emotions change emotions. Then how do we deal with them? I'm not trying to rescue them. <laughs> no. no. I'm just saying I'm not trying we deal with we study our like own we study cave history. Then we know how, where they come from, how they act. Study cave history. When you study cave history, you'll realize that all people utilized caves for certain things. If it was a cave in my backyard, I'd be up in it, chilling, smoking a blunt. I might lay a damn mattress down up in there. Act. Because they wouldn't accept you into that. If I have a cave, you, I wouldn't accept you in it. No way. Because I, I don't play fractions. That's Henry, Dr. Henry Clark would say, they don't play fractions, they want the whole damn cave. Mm-hmm. They don't want a part of America, they want the whole thing. They don't want part of Canada, they want the whole thing, because that comes from their cave mentality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We just don't study their origins, so everything they're doing is mystifying us. They have emotional... Who don't study their origins? We study the origins of humans. We look at the Genome Project, archaeology. When someone says Homo Neanderthal, Homo means human. Neanderthals are human, they're just archaic humans. Homo erectus are humans, they're just archaic humans. Or illness, because a belief is an emotion. White supremacy is a belief. So it's emotional. Mm. Your culture gives you beliefs. From your beliefs, you get emotions. Reaction to emotions is called a feeling. You don't have feelings for Chinese music because you don't have Chinese culture. Mm-hmm. You, you follow what I'm saying? They have an emotional problem. We think it's a mental problem. We'll make some laws and they'll follow this and this is correct. No, they have an emotional problem and you can only treat emotions with emotions. Mm-hmm. You can intellectualize all you want to your wife about how you, this and that. She don't love the, your thoughts, she loves your emotions. Only emotions communicate to each other. Mm-hmm. So, I can't communicate a thought to anybody? I mean, do you guys, do you guys listen to people? That's why you always hear me say listening comprehension, reading comprehension. You guys have low comprehension, low listening comprehension, if you have trust and believe this man. Trust me. If you think Dr. Layla Ali kicks good information, you have horrible listening and reading comprehension. I'm talking about you. You see, 
Well, you can't ex- explain with mathematics how much you love your wife. Get out of here. If she don't feel it, if she don't feel it, you, it ain't working, man. <laughs> well, one in one is two. <laughs> yeah, right. That, that's intellectual. <laughs> but I, what I'm saying is we don't have enough information. We're studying the wrong thing. So we're going to get the wrong solution. Speak, have, speak for yourself. To study their culture like we study, they study ours. And we're not doing that. We have never done that. Right. We've never studied cave civilization. Is Is there such thing called cave civilization? (laughs) Nutritional destruction of black people. I wrote the whole history of that cave civilization. But I'm saying we never did that because we were miseducated. Mm -hmm. They are believers more than anything else. Belief is a theory. Belief is a rule. We look at the Constitution as a book of rules. It's a book of beliefs. Mm -hmm. Now, now, everyone listening to this know damn well us African Americans are some believers like a motherfucker. You know that. Beliefs are crystallized by rituals and ceremonies. There's only two behaviors, a ritual and a ceremony. Mm-hmm. I say hello to you, you say hello to me, that's the hello ritual. Mm-hmm. Now if we add music to it and dancing, there's a hello ceremony. It's just a greeting, it's not a goddamn ritual. Shit. Ceremony. <laughs> you see? So there are only two behaviors. But we study like there's all this going on, and all that going on. Not at all. These are Europeans that just got out of the cave. You give them too much intelligence. They, they crawl to our level. Because they damn sure weren't walking. Yeah, absolutely. So we got to get back to really handling this issue. We want to solve it. But that's not for me. That's for future generations. Let me uh, get back to melanin and, and the ability to be one with nature. Okay. Because that was the uh, African... I, I'm going to move forward. Um, world um, view. belief... Yeah. Now you're getting we that. are one with nature. Yeah. In fact, the Africans believe that uh, energy could need to be created and destroyed, and that's only stop it. He heard that from a white man. Although Africans did believe it, but they heard that from white folk. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. But they act like white people lie about one hundred percent of the stuff. <laughs> the energy from infinity to infinity that permeates the same energy permeates the entire universe Mm -hmm. from infinity and that is what we are and everything else is that energy so essentially when the Africans say we are God Mm -hmm. and they express that uh, that if you took a drop of water from the ocean, put it under a mic. Well, well, do Africans say that they're God? Every element in the ocean is in the drop. So we are cosmic drops. Every element in the cosmos is in us. And if every human on earth, regardless of race, is made of stardust. That's true. They're trying to single it out like just black folk. If you take the drop of water and put it back in the ocean, you have all the power of the ocean because the drop is now inseparable from from the ocean. So it is the ocean. What I was trying to connect because we are the cosmic drop. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. The European... Your imprint is on it. It's not the same anymore. The center is made from the baby, not from the mother. But I just want to, let me just get to this little last part where his little helper speaks and lies. Um, Here she go, pretty little thing. But um, just listen to the lie she made up. And I'm going to end this video. I got got you with a premise here. (laughs) (laughs) I understand that. Uh, If 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 you're a liar. Here we go. Just listen to this story. And no way on earth will a hospital ever, ever, ever allow this. They will get their ass sued to death. They don't let nobody come in and fuck with their equipment. 
alive and you're breathing and you're able to sit here in this conversation, the body has a very resilient way of healing itself. True. No one can dictate how the body heals itself. True. But God. Mm -hmm. And as you say, we're one with God. So if you change your eating habits, if you take the herbs from the earth to help your heart, mm -hmm. you understand? You just take the stress levels completely out of your life as much as you can. Mm -hmm. You can get better. She's so pretty to, to uh, <laughs> put what white hair go right here. I have had a mother who had a stroke and an aneurysm and they told her she wasn't going to live. And I sat in the hospital and they allowed me to take raw herbs. And I, is it called the pedestal and statement? The, the mortar and pistol. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I, did, I did, I pulverized her herbs in front of them and I put it in her feeding tube and she came back seven days later. Oh, oh my God! <sighs> I was in the hospital one time, and I asked, "Can I?" I was going to bring some herbs, and I mentioned it. They said, "Oh, oh no, we any anything that we have to get that approved. You can't even bring your your family member no herbs, and they know about it. They will tell you you got to get that approved. They will try to take it away from you and all that because they are on a, 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 a they can get sued." You cannot put nothing in front of doctors. She said in front of their face. She put all this stuff in the feed, in the feeding tube in front of them. Go ask any doctor, any nurse that you know on earth. Can a family member come in and do some shit like that in front of them? She's too pretty to lie. <laughs> it was unconscious. They said that she was, that she only, only had a couple days to live. And she's still with me today, 21 years later. Okay, so this is the end of the video. It's an hour and something long, but I can't just keep, because y'all ain't going to sit here and watch me, listen to me for an hour. It's 40 minutes is enough. I could have went through the whole thing and debunked just about every goddamn, every other sentence he made. Stop fucking with these quacks. The conscious community is looking real bad. Uplifting these uh, uh, um, anti-science people, unintellectual people. This is this man is seriously unintellectual. Seriously, on a serious, basic elementary level, is what he's on. Really, he is, and I'm ashamed of the conscious community. <laughs>